You ever wonder why certain zodiac signs always end up in a toxic relationship? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Here's the top five zodiac signs that always end up in a toxic relationship. Number five, Taurus. Please understand that a Taurus is one stubborn in a relationship, they don't like to compromise. Why would they compromise, especially when they know they right? In relationships, it's natural for people to grow and change. But the thing with a Taurus, they ain't changing unless they want to change. Being in a relationship with a person like this will drive you nuts. I hope you got some patience. In relationships, Taurus tends to be very loving until they get triggered. The more triggered they are, the more stubborn and unwilling they are to change, to compromise. Being in a relationship with a Taurus like this, you're going to always constantly feel like you're unheard and your feelings are unvalidated. Because once a Taurus believes that they're right and know that they're right, they listen on you saying. And if you guys have a fight, Taurus is not the one they're going come and apologize first because why would they do that when they know they're right it's like taurus why you always got to be right first of all i know i don't have to always be right but if you look at the facts here the facts prove that i'm right so why would i be wrong when i know i'm right like no no are you dumb and that's why tauruses always end up being in a toxic relationship number four libra we know that libras love to be in love they love all that love the main reason why they're prone to a toxic relationship because they stay holy in. They don't tell you all the parts of what they feeling. They may tell you some of their feelings, but you ain't getting all of them. And not communicating fully does not maintain the peace. It actually sets the foundation for war. Because the more they do this, the more resentful they become. And after a while of being resentful, what's gonna start to happen? Those feelings gonna start to fest up. And that bottle gonna pop. And once it pop, that gonna stop. And I hope you got some patience, because now Libra is about to argue with you about the last five years of shit you did to them that made them mad. What the fuck? I thought we was over that. And then you did this. On top of that, that led to this. And this is why I like this. It's your fault. You just don't see it. They're going to let all the feelings out that bottle, release it. And over time, they're going to refill it. And repeat the whole process. And that's why they toxic. Number three, Capricorn. First of all, Capricorn don't be trusting nobody. If you don't trust nobody, you'll be suspicious of everybody. And if you date Capricorn, they're going to definitely be suspicious of you. And the crazy part about it is, you ain't did nothing. It's like sometimes Capricorn look for things to be suspicious about. It's like Capricorns, it's in your head. You made it up. And not only are they suspicious, they overthink. They mind stay working. Capricorn don't put nothing past nobody. And the more that they like you, the more they're going to test you. And ooh, bitch, you better pass with flying colors. A Capricorn can sometimes be a negative Nancy. What's forever playing in the back of the head of a Capricorn is that people be lying. And since they know that people be lying, they're going to always wonder if you're lying too. Because the way a Capricorn sees it, the more they love you, the more vulnerable they are to you. So in their head, they got to prepare themselves for the worst. In a relationship with a Capricorn, you are always guilty. But you got to constantly prove yourself innocent. Being in a relationship with a person like this is going to always make you feel some type of way. They'll be thinking all these crazy things, being suspicious of you on the inside, but on the outside like this. Like, give me something, Capricorn. What, your face broke? Meanwhile, they thought some a minute. Capricorn's tendency to glass half empty, especially in relationships. And that's why they toxic. Number two, cancer. Cancers are very, very sweet people. You know, very nurturing people when they're happy. <laughs> but when they're not happy, things sometimes change. Understand, as they boo, you're going to be their primary support system. Which means you're going to go through a lot, baby. You're going to experience emotional turmoil. Confusion. Disarray. Cancers sometimes have mood swings. And in a relationship, cancers want you to be a mind reader. The way they see it is, how you don't know that? I made it clear. What you don't pay attention to me, that's your problem. You don't listen. No, I'm mad at you. Make me feel better. No matter how tough a cancer appear to be on the outside, because you know you got a shell, regardless of what they say, they are sensitive as hell. And being in a relationship with a person that's sensitive, you're going to have some issues. A lot of things get them upset. While cancers are a little cray-cray, they crave connection with they boo. Being that they feel everything, they can feel when it's a little bit disconnected. And so when they start to feel that, they start to overthink and start to cry. Like, what's the problem? Is it me? That's when a cancer's not happy or does not get their way with you, where they want to get their way with you. That's when the toxic manipulation begins. Because trust me, they know how to... They know how to get you, I'm telling you. And the cancer is the kind of sign that when in a relationship, they hear what they want to hear. But you may say, baby, I don't feel like cutting tonight. You know what I mean? I'm kind of hot. And what that cancer hurts is that you don't love them no more. Yep. <laughs> and that's why they toxic. Number one, Gemini. And Gemini, they have like a, little, a, a free spirit approach to life. And sometimes it drives people crazy. But one thing a Gemini will do is match energy. They can match the good energy and the bad. But the thing is, once they communicate something to you that they told you they don't like and you keep on doing it, they gonna stop communicating. When a Gemini stops communicating, let the toxicity begin. The most important thing to a Gemini is reciprocation. And if they don't get reciprocation, they gonna start reciprocating those negative feelings to you. They gonna become very argumentative. They will take it down to the gutter. And did I mention that a low vibration Gemini don't give a fuck? That's important to know. I Gemini mean, has a part of them that they activate that's like a savage part of them. And once it's activated towards you, ooh, I know, I know. Some toxic shit about to happen. So whatever negative feeling they feel, they're going to make sure you feel. Gemini sometimes create their own drama starring them. And that's why Geminis always end up being in a toxic relationship. And I think that's it. What I miss, let me know you always do. What Zodiac sign do you think is always in a toxic relationship? And as always, I have a favor. If you enjoyed this video, can you please share, please? When you share my video, it helps me so, 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 so much, okay? All right, love you, bye.